Warning, the Mega Man X channel and all of its videos are not meant for viewers under the age of 13. Parental guidance is advised. Hey guys, be sure to visit my Facebook page store where you can buy anything figure related directly from me. I have a wide variety of figures, accessories, anything ranging from hot toys to SH figure arts, Figma, and third party items as well. All you have to do is message me on Facebook. Visit my Facebook page for more info. I'll leave a link in the description below. How's it going my fellow collectors? I am back again and we have reached the end of the year. My goodness how fast it is gone. I only picked up one Hot Toys figure this year. Another one is still on the way. The rest of the Hot Toys figures that came out this year I didn't get for one of three reasons. One is either that it was too expensive Two, I didn't have enough space uh, for where to put that figure. And three, I just straight up didn't like the figure. Or I just wasn't interested in the character of that figure. And there were certainly a lot of those this year. Uh, a lot of figures that I just wasn't interested in. But I'm going to go ahead and give you a rundown of the top 10 best Hot Toys figures of 2020. This list will be comprised of figures that I was really tempted to get or that it crossed my mind to add them to my collection or of course that I already have in my collection or that I'm going to get very soon in my collection. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Take it away Snake. These are the top 10 Hot Toys figures of 2020. Number 10. At number 10, we have the 40th Anniversary Edition Empire Strikes Back Darth Vader. Now the figure that you're looking at here is not actually the 40th Anniversary Edition. It is in fact the Darth Vader original Empire Strikes Back that came out, the first one. But the 40th Anniversary Edition is basically just a reissue of this figure. There's virtually no difference between this figure and that one. The only thing is that it comes in a different box. The design of the box is different. That's why it's so low on my list, sitting at number 10. But I had to include it because it's an awesome figure. Plus it comes with this awesome base. You can see where Darth Vader cut the wind turbine off with his lightsaber. Plus, it lights up. How can you top that? Number 9 At number 9, we have the 40th Anniversary Edition Empire Strikes Back Boba Fett. I know, I know, it's another Star Wars figure, but to be honest, Hot Toys killed it this year with a lot of Star Wars characters. And I know this is just another reissue, just like the Darth Vader was. But that's, again, one of the reasons why I have it at number 9 and not any higher than that. But the reason why I did have to have it on the list is because it's an awesome figure. Like, it comes with an entire second secondary outfit that you can put on him. That you can change his outfit into. Like, he literally comes with so many accessories that he could be classified as a DX figure on his own. This is a figure that I was definitely tempted to get, but because of spacing issues, I had to pass up on it. Another reason why I had to include him on the list is because they kind of fixed the jetpack issue that the first release, Empire Strikes Back Boba Fett had. If you guys remember, the jetpack... The way you attach it on the first release was just with a bunch of hooks on his back. And it's pretty hard from what I heard. It's really fiddly and flimsy. But with this release, they kind of fixed that issue. Because they actually added a magnet this time. It still has two hooks that you have to hook on his back. And the magnet isn't that strong. But still, it's not as flimsy as the first release. 
This figure is still available in a few online stores if you haven't picked it up. But if you do miss out on it, for those of you that need your Boba Fett fix, I'm pretty sure Hot Toys is going to release another Boba Fett figure, given the fact that Boba Fett does appear on the Disney Plus Mandalorian TV show. Number 8 I want to give a shout out to Dean Knight for letting me use this footage and images and also for being an all-around great guy. You guys check him out and subscribe to his channel on YouTube at Dean Knight 333 and follow him on Facebook and Instagram under the same name Dean Knight 333. Also, if you live in the UK or in the Europe area, check out his website thefigurepit.com and you'll be able to buy, sell, and trade figures on his website. I'll leave links for all that information in the description below. Okay, so coming in at number 8 is the Justice League Superman. This figure was delayed for quite a bit of time. There was a lot of collectors waiting for it and I had to get included on the list because it has a great outfit. Very vibrant, the suit. The only reason it isn't higher than an 8 is because they messed up on the cape. I heard it's not as good as the Dawn of Justice Superman cape, but honestly, Hot Toys could have given us a wired cape this time around since they didn't give it to us with the Dawn of Justice Superman. I mean, look at how good a wired cape would look on this figure as you can see the images that D Knight has given to us. It crossed my mind to pick this figure up but in the end I ended up not pulling the trigger because I already own the Dawn of Justice Superman and to be honest I did enjoy the Dawn of Justice movie a heck of a lot more than the Justice League movie. But who knows, I might regret not picking it up since we have the Snyder Cut of the Justice League coming out soon. So watching that may make me regret not picking the Justice League Superman up. But yeah, I do have the Dawn of Justice Batman and the Justice League Wonder Woman. So I was kind of going for that Dawn of Justice look in my display cabinet. That's another reason why I decided to keep the Dawn of Justice Superman. A lot of people complain about the parted hair on the head sculpt for the normal head sculpt. People say that the part is on the wrong side, but honestly that doesn't bother me. This figure deserves to be on the top 10 list because the light up heat vision head sculpt is really awesome. I mean, if you just take a look at these images, it blows me away. The only thing is the teeth. I don't know how I feel about it. It looks a little off. Maybe it looks better in person. That's one thing that Hot Toys, every time they sculpt a head sculpt with their teeth showing, it's usually a hit or miss. Sometimes they get it, sometimes they don't. But overall, good figure and definitely deserves to be in the top 10 list. Number 7 At number 7 we have the Hot Toys Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 or Avengers Infinity War Gamora. This is another figure that I thought about picking up simply because I think it would look good with uh, Infinity War Thanos. You could have a nice display of father and daughter. And this is another figure which also a lot of people were waiting for release because there was a lot of flaws with the first Gamora figure that came out by Hot Toys. And it looks like they definitely improved on a lot of flaws from the first release. I love this new outfit that she has, the leather jacket and leather outfit. The shirt I'm not really fond of, the extra shirt that she comes with. And it looks like they really nailed the likeness of Zoe Saldana. There's people who say that the likeness isn't accurate, but I disagree. Judging from what I see, it looks pretty accurate, pretty solid. Definitely an improvement compared to the first release head sculpt. 
People also complain about the rooted hair, but honestly, I prefer it that way because you don't have to worry about sculpted hair fraying the leather jacket or the material of the outfit. Plus, you also get a wide range of articulation with the head sculpt with rooted hair. Unlike with sculpted long hair, you can't get much articulation from that. Yes, you have to fix the rooted hair, but that doesn't bother me and it's not that hard. With a little patience and a little gel, the problem will be solved. The reason I didn't pick up this figure is because there's way better figures that Hot Toys has released this year. And you will see which ones they are by continuing this list. So stick around. Number 6. Coming in at number 6, we have the Hot Toys Qui-Gon Jinn from Star Wars Episode 1 Phantom Menace. I'm definitely glad I got this figure. The reason I like it so much is because it represents almost a 100% accuracy to Liam Neeson in Phantom Menace. The reason I say almost is because the eyes on the head sculpt are not good. They give him this squinty eyes look like if he's trying to read something off in the distance. But other than that, this figure is great. You can put him in three different looks. One wearing the robe, one without the robe, and one wearing the poncho. Another reason why it's not so high on the list is because of the sculpted hair. You don't get much articulation out of the head because of the sculpted hair. It hinders a lot of movement. But yeah, this is definitely a must-own if you're a fan of Star Wars and you love Qui-Gon Jinn. Definitely pick up this figure. It's worth it. Number 5 At number 5, we have the Hot Toys Black Widow from Avengers Endgame. Yet another figure that crossed my mind on picking up because it truly is a great figure. From what I've seen on reviews, this is one figure that Hot Toys got away with by giving her sculpted hair because usually they sculpt the Black Widow head sculpt with rooted hair. But they were able to give her sculpted hair this time because they went for the short ponytail look. And it looks beautiful. Great representation of what Scarlett Johansson looked like in Endgame. But I wasn't able to pick her up due to space. And I have a lot of space reserved for future releases that Hot Toys is going to release soon. It's a great figure, but I wouldn't be surprised if Hot Toys tops this figure with the future solo Black Widow movie figure. It looks awesome. It's probably going to be awesome. Number 4 at number four, we have Star Wars Rogue One, director Orson Krennic. I loved the performance of Ben Mendelsohn on the Rogue One movie. He was great. It's too bad that they didn't give him enough screen time on Batman Dark Knight Rises because he's, re he's a really good actor. But anyway, the reason I like this figure so much is this is another head sculpt that Hot Toys knocked out of the park. It looks exactly like Ben Mendelsohn, but again, I couldn't get it because of space issues. It would have been great to be able to display him along with Darth Vader and Grand Moff Tarkin, but I don't have Tarkin either. That's the problem with these Star Wars figures. There's so many characters to choose from that, you know, space becomes an issue. So in my case, I have to be very selective of which Star Wars characters I want the most. But getting back to this figure, yeah, the head sculpt was the number one factor that I put this figure on the top 10 list. And also the outfit, you can change it into two different outfits if you want. There's his regular look, which he sports throughout most of the movie. And there's also the look that he had when he was on the weapons research base when it was raining. So it's really cool. It's a really good figure. Number three. 
At number three, we have the Hot Toys Marvel Future Fight War Machine Armor Punisher. Yet another awesome figure by Hot Toys. Really impressive, this figure. The unhelmeted head sculpt looks exactly like the Punisher from the comic books. And at one point in the comic books, the Punisher actually wears this armor. So it's a great representation. I was really close to pulling the trigger and buying this figure at one point. A lot of people say they don't like the uh, effect parts that a lot of figures come with, but I love them. This figure does come with a few effect parts for his guns on his armor. As you can see in the images, it looks awesome on display. Again, thank you to Dean Knight for these images and the footage. So there were a few things that kept me from buying this figure. And like I said before, I came really close to buying it. One of the reasons why I didn't get it was because it's so heavy. You can't just casually put, put this figure on your Detolf display case. Another reason why I didn't get it was because it doesn't come with a flight stand. Not that you could pose this figure in a flight pose anyway because he's so heavy. It would probably break the stand. And the light up functions on the figure itself are pretty awesome as well. Except for one issue, the arc reactor on the chest, you can't see it. So what's the point of having an arc reactor in the chest if you, you're you not going to be able to see it? It's being covered by the skull symbol on his chest. I guess you could remove the chest armor plate and display them that way, but I wouldn't want to do that. And the main reason why I didn't pick this figure up was the price. This figure it was at retail 430 to 450 dollars, if I remember correctly. So yeah, that put a halt to my purchase of this figure. But other than those things that I mentioned, this is a top top figure. It's it's really good. I love the Punisher. That's one of the reasons why I was going to get this figure. And that's the main reason why it's on this top 10 list. Number 2. At number 2 we have the Hot Toys Star Wars Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith Commander Cody. Yet another awesome figure. The unhelmeted head sculpt of... Tamira Morrison as Commander Cody is spot on. Hot Toys nailed it. This is another figure that I really thought about pre-ordering. But I ended up not buying it because again of spacing issues. It would have looked really good with uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi. I haven't really heard a lot of negatives on this figure. Except that it doesn't have too good of articulation because of the armor, I guess. But that wouldn't bother me. The weathering on the armor looks great. He even comes with a little hologram of Emperor Sidious and a few other holograms too. And on top of that, the holograms light up because he has a light up arm for it. That's why this figure is so high up on the list sitting at number two because there's hardly anything wrong with it. You just have to be very careful because there's an antenna on his shoulder and his helmet. So if the figure takes a nosedive off of your shelf, you can bet that those antennas are going to break. But yeah, like I said, great figure. Number two spot, Commander Cody. Number one. And the number one Hot Toys release of 2020 was the Deluxe Beskar Armor Mandalorian from the TV show Mandalorian. No one should be surprised by this. This was pretty much given. Now to tell you the truth, I really wasn't planning on picking up this figure when it was announced for pre-order, but after seeing how great it looked on reviews online, and after seeing Season 2 of The Mandalorian, I was pretty much hooked. I had to get my hands on it. But by the time I wanted one, 
it had already been sold out on pretty much all the online retail stores except for Sideshow. So that's when I pretty much bought it. There was a lot of complaints with this figure that nobody liked the padded suit that's underneath the outfit because it hinders some of the articulation. And there was even complaints about the outfit itself that the Under Armour suit was the wrong color and the Beskar armor wasn't a chrome finish. It was more a silver finish than a chrome finish that it didn't reflect at all. I'm not going to say anything right now because I do have this figure on pre-order and I will be reviewing it once I get it. So I'm going to save all my criticisms for the review. All I can tell you right now is that it's an awesome figure and it comes with a boatload of accessories. That was one of the main selling points of why I bought the figure. I'm still at this very moment really excited and I can't wait to get my hands on it once I get it. If you guys want to hear my entire thoughts on this figure, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and you will be notified when my review of this figure goes up on my channel. So that's it guys, that's the top 10 figures of 2020. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you're new to my channel please subscribe as I mentioned. And if you liked the video please give it a thumbs up. But until next time guys, I shall catch you all later on the tube. Alright, bye guys.